Hey guys, it's Ella Lilac. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to put Moon in horse riding tails and I'm going to be showing you guys some glitches. My friend And Violet Summers might be joining us today, but I'm not sure if she is because I do know that she was busy today and I'm not sure if she is definitely joining. But anyway, we're just going to get into the glitches. I have three categories and one bonus glitch that I'm going to be doing today. I have the easy, um, the easy glitches, the ones that are a bit more common, which I'm going to be doing first. Some secret spots, which I think aren't necessarily glitches, but I think you guys really like. And then I have some fantasy arena glitches, and I have a free wild mode glitch, which is the bonus, guys. And yeah, I think this will be super fun. So let's just go. The first glitch is the underground pop up glitch. So to order, in order to pop up, you're going to need Pegasus. But if you just want to go underground, you can use any horse. So first, you just got to go over to the dressage arena over here. Like I said, if you want to pop up, you need a Pegasus. But if you just want to go underground, you don't need one. And this can also be, you know, a secret spot if you were, if you want it to be, I suppose, in the underground part. So you're basically you're just gonna put your horse's head in the pillow here and you're going to dismount. Then you're going to whistle and you can just go ahead and mount your horse. And as you can see, you're in this little area here and this is the secret spot and if you want to go underground, you just go under here. Now, if you don't have a Pegasus, you're just going to keep falling and falling forever and ever. But if you do have a Pegasus, you can fly just up to the surface here. The surface is actually what looks like water, but it's not actually water. It just looks like it. So now, basically, what you can do is you can just go to any area. I'm just going to pick the stables. But you just kind of can't be careful. You can see the boat there. And you can kind of see indentations in the ground on where you are. So as you can see, I know I'm getting near the pen. Um, here's the cotton fields. Get in the pen. So you can just pop up, boop, and scare your friends. The next glitch is to get inside of the normal arena. So for this glitch, you are not going to use a Pegasus. You can use a Pegasus, but you don't really need to. So I'm just going to be using this horse here. So first, this there's a few ways to do this glitch. Um, I'm just going to be getting on on this side because it's the one that I know the best. Basically, you just want your two front hooves off of the thing here, but you don't want to fall down. It's pretty easy to fall down, so be careful. Like I said, there's an, another way to do this, but I know this way the best, so this is the way I'm going to do. Then you're going to whistle, and your horse went up there, so now you just got to run back here a little bit until you can see the green, green triangle of your horse. And I can see my horse. Okay, there we go. You just sometimes just got to move around until you find it. Then you just tap mount, and you are on the roof. So now you're on the roof of the normal arena, which is kind of a glitch in itself because you can just run around and do whatever you want here. But next, to get into the arena, you just fall down here. So now you're in the normal arena. There's nowhere to get out, though. You have to go. So the next glitch that we are going to be doing is the inside of the dressage arena. And this one is pretty cool. And anyone can do it. You don't actually have to be level 7 to do this glitch because you can get to the dressage arena without being level 7. You just have to go, like, over here and then up the ground here and then you can if you like stay on the edge you can get in the dressage arena i'm obviously level 36 though so i don't have to do that so you're just going to go over here and then you've got to bring horse all the way over to the so other end of, to the other end of the arena again so there's a lot of running in this glitch which is kind of annoying because it takes a bit longer because you have to so well now you just kind of have to you have to sound sideways and then you're just going to whistle as soon as you whistle, you can turn around and you'll see your horse coming towards you and you just want to mount it while it's inside the arena. And now you are inside the arena, you guys. This is an awesome glitch and I think it's super, super cool. And next we've got the floating glitch. So I really like this glitch and there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this glitch. It's not just the glitch in itself, but there's a lot of glitches that come off of this glitch. How many times can you say glitch in one sentence? Hmm, okay. We're going to use flare. And basically, you're just going to go over here to this mountain over here, and you can float, and it's really cool. So you're just going to go on this mountain here, and right here at the border, and you're going to dismount. You're going to walk down here into this area right here, whistle, and then you're going to tap animations. And if, it, if you do it too soon or too late, if you mount afterwards, then it's not going to work. So you've got to kind of do it right at the right time. It takes a couple tries sometimes. And this is what happens if you do it correctly. You get like this first person view, but really you're up there. 
but it is kind of cool for a first person view if you do want to do that or you up here so now basically the one of the glitches that can come off this glitch is you circle around in this pen here and you can actually go inside of it if you dismount and then you can either whistle or mount again it doesn't really matter but now you're in here and you can mount or whatever you want in here but again so you can't the next one is a lay down and move around in wild mode glitch so i'm gonna have to get a horse that has wild mode i think i'm just going to use a normal horse i do have starlight is wild mode but i'm just going to use a normal horse so you're just going to use wild mode here and as you can see i am in wild mode and then you are going to rest then, now that you have rested, you are going to go to settings, and you are going to tap crafting, and then you're just going to tap X. And now you can move around. Now you can fly as well, which is pretty cool. This glitch is just kind of fun. I did this while I was doing roleplay, and someone asked, are you okay? So, it was kind of fun. Riding backwards glitch. I know a lot of people know this one, but there might be those few people that don't. So I'm going to do this glitch for them. So, basically, um, one version of, there's a couple versions of this glitch. You're just going to stand near... Um, whatever, um, a uh, mining resource, and then you're just going to go ahead and mine it. And if you are standing this way as you mine it to your horse, you're going to be riding side saddle. If, um, so yeah, so if I just start mining here, then I can tap my horse, and with different horses is a bit different. This one, the button didn't show up right away, now it did. So now you can side saddle ride, and as you can see, okay, I didn't, I didn't tap it quickly enough because it was not working, but depending on what angle is de going to depend on how you ride on your horse. You can ride at different angles. It's kind of weird, but this is another side saddle one. And then there we go. And then you're just going to stop mining and you'll be riding side saddle. To ride backwards, you kind of basically do the same thing, except you, you do it backwards. You just position yourself so you will be backwards. Then you just tap mount. I'm having a bit of trouble. And then you just stop. And now you're riding The down. next glitch is to lay down on your horse while you still ride it. So you're just going to go over something that you want to mine. And you're going to tap mining. And you are going to mount your horse while you're mining. But you're not going to stop mining. And then you're going to start doing some weird crazy angles like this. And now you're laying down on your horse. There's a bunch of different angles that you can end up laying down. This is the one that I ended up laying down. There's so many different angles that you can end up laying down there. Um... Yeah. The next category that we have are the secret spots. First secret spot that we have is in the mountains. And this one isn't really that big of a secret. I'm going to fly there just because it's easier. But you guys can obviously just be there without flying. Um, one of them is actually in this rock. If you can fly, you can fly right in this rock and just land in there. And so no one can see you. These are secret spots are good for hide and seek. So no one can see you here. But if you go, um, like, if you're level 25, or even if you're not, you can, if you're not, you can get into these mountains here. But if you are level 25, you can climb into these mountains. I'm fine just because it's easier. But you can climb into them, and you can get back into this little crevice here. And now you're pretty well hidden. I don't think anyone's going to see you. So, yeah. The next secret spot is behind the border. And in order to do this one, you do need to float. Guys, please, if you're watching this video and you see these glitches, please, please do not tell anyone in-game about these glitches. Because if you do tell them, game, then uh, Foxy will know about them and get rid of them. So, please don't tell anybody about these glitches. If you want, oh, if you want them to do these glitches, then tell them to go to this video or a similar video. Um, that'll ensure that they do not get rid of the glitch. I've begun to float. You can just go over to the border over here. And you can see I'm not floating as high as you can, but and you're basically just going to turn around until you're in the border. And then you can dismount and whistle and walk around inside of the border here. And it's just a pretty cool spot. And then no one can actually get to you. So three secret spots you need a Pegasus to do. And I'm sorry, but these glitch these secret spots are really cool. So first, you're going to go, you're going to take a Pegasus up on top of an epic stable and dismount. Then if you dismount on top of the epic stable, you can make a horse rest and you can walk around up here. And you're pretty well hidden, but the only thing is other people 
can see you if they don't have an epic stable in that spot, which is kind of the downside, but this one's just cool because it works really well for music videos, and I'll show you why. If you dismount and you make your horse rest, then you can stand like right here on the balcony. That's not the balcony. Like right here on the balcony, and that's why it's good for music videos. That's all of the secret spots, and now we have um, the fantasy arena. So, the two fantasy arena glitches I have, and the first one is under the bleachers of the fantasy arena. So this is a glitch to get into the fantasy arena if you are not level 25. You do need to float for this glitch. Please remember guys, I am level 20, I'm over level 25, but I know how to do this glitch and I'm going to show you how to do it even though I'm over level 25. It will work for you guys. I just have to show you on here because I can't show you, technically. You're going to go over here to behind the pet area, right over here to this castle. You're going to come like right back here, and you're going to turn until you get inside of the wall here. I'm going to fly up and show you what it's going to look like. Then you will um, be in this area here, and then you can turn into this wall here, and then you can dismount or whatever, and you'll be able to see into the fantasy arena. It's not super good, but you will be able to see into the fantasy arena. If you have a friend in there doing something. So yeah, that's this glitch. Obviously, I can't actually do it because I am over level 25. And I'm really sorry about that, you guys. The next glitch is how to get inside of the fantasy arena. You are going to need a Pegasus for this glitch. So I'm going to be using Galaxy. Basically, you're just going to go underground. You are going to go this way, under the fantasy arena. So just kind of watch where you're going until you get there. So as you can see, once you get to the fantasy arena, you'll either get a border or you'll be able to go through. If you get a border, you just need to go further under. Then you're going to tap the horse here to see horses. And then you're just going to tap it again. And now you're going to be popped up here. And then you're just going to go up and land. And now you're in the fantasy arena. So that one's pretty cool. You can't get out. Okay guys, the last glitch is a free wild mode glitch. And this glitch is super cool, and I'm super, super excited to show you guys. So, basically, before you do this glitch, you need to go to cross country and see, go to training and see whatever horse pops up, because that's the horse that you're going to need. That's the horse that's going to get the free wild mode. On different days, on different weeks, it will be different. You can, if you're really, really tap fit, fast at tapping, you can tap another horse. But as you can see, if I go to my stable, Sky is only a level 1. She does not have wild mode. There's no wild mode. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to be showing you how to get free wild mode. So you're just going to ride a horse. It doesn't necessarily have to be the one that you're doing the glitch with. And it definitely does not have to be a Pegasus. But I am going to do it with the Pegasus just to make it a little bit simpler. And just to show you guys that, you know, it, it yeah. <laughs> Just make it a bit simpler. It doesn't have to be the horse that you're going to use, though. So then you're going to land right here. This is another way to get on the roof, by the way. And then you're going to make sure that you have that green triangle and whistle. Then you're going to go over here and watch the green triangle at the top until you can see it. And you're going to keep going further, further away until you stop seeing it. So now I stop seeing it, and I'm just going to go back a little bit more until I can see it. You basically want to be as far away as possible while still having the green triangle. Now, I'm going to explain the next steps to you because you have to do this super, super fast. You're going to tap mount, and then you're going to go into cross country, go into training, and tap the first horse that pops up. Unless that horse already is wild mode, then you can tap a different one as long as you're fast. Then tap start. You've got to be super fast about this, you guys, and it takes a couple of tries. So hey guys, it's editing me, and basically you want to do, you want to start the cross country before you actually end up getting on your horse. 
if you get the near side is blocked by an obstacle, then you just need to come over here and then whistle until your horse moves a little bit. And then just get that green arrow again. And I got it again, which is fine. That does happen. Sometimes you just got to kind of move around where you are and where your horse is. And this is what happens if you are fast enough. So now you can see I was fast enough and I am doing the training without a rider. You do need a saddle for this, unfortunately. You have to be wearing a saddle. But um, it's so pretty cool. So this is free mild mode. And yeah, it does not stop here. You can do the race if you want to. Um, it's basically just the same. But... If you don't want to, obviously, and you want to go around the world with free wild mode, you just tap the X. And then you tap the X again. And now, guys, you have free wild mode. The downsides of this glitch is your name tag does not pop up. And when you talk, a speech bubble doesn't pop up. So you're just talking to nothing. As you can see, there's no speech bubble. But if you look at the top, my speech is here. So guys, yeah, this is the free wild mode glitch, and I think it's super, super cool. You don't have to do it with Pegasus, but you can. So, yeah. You also can't do any animations. You can't rear or anything, which is kind of annoying. And then you've got all the high yes, nails and stuff, even though you can't actually see a person. But if you tap those, obviously, you, you go away. And also, guys, you can't go to the stable. So don't try. If you go to the stable, it will completely mess everything up and the game will completely glitch out. Since this is the last glitch, I will show you before I leave. <laughs> so if you tap the stable button, if you try going to the stable, it doesn't work. If you tap the stable button, nothing happens. Um, if you tap this stuff, you can get your pets out, I believe. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, you can. You, you can get your pets. But you can't go to the stable. And... Um, can you catch horses? I haven't tried catching horses, actually. No, you can't catch horses. So you can't catch horses, you can't go to the stable, you can't do any animations, and you've got this stuff, but you can't do anything with it. Um, obviously, you can counter, gallop, whatever you want. And then you can, in order to go to the stable, you actually have to go to settings, and then stables, but it doesn't work if this just happens. So it doesn't really work, and then all your buttons are gone. So I suggest not doing that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day, you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. And bye, Sonas. I'm so sorry you couldn't join. Goodbye.